can you see my slides? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it is a short quiz. Diego, uh, it's for you. Uh, there will be three variants and one question. Please, Diego, match the map of, of Ukraine. Where is Ukraine here? The first, the second, or the third? Where is Ukraine? It is, it is the first. The first, good for you. The next question. It's especially weird because the second one was the country that the yeah, other You was know, this map, this map of Ukraine, can you put it again, Anna? Yes. Here, I see yeah. that Odessa. Odessa. You write it with two S. No. No, only it is one. The people, they write it just with one, Odessa. Good for you, right? In Ukrainian, it is one as because because it is a Russian map. On I Russian see. So you teach me Ukrainian with a Russian map. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I try to make uh, my quiz uh, more difficult. That's why I use Ukrainian map with Russian language, uh, Spanish map with uh, Ukrainian language, and. Uh, Deutschland, uh, German map with German language. Wow. <laughs> so he was trying to confuse you. Yes, yes. <laughs> exactly. Yes. The next question. Please uh, say where are Ukrainian people? The first variant, the second variant, and the third variant. The third one. The third one. Yes. And have you decided uh, which one this and this? I don't really know. Mm -hmm. This one, uh, Norwegian. Norwegian, really? Yes, really, really. I also uh, was very excited about that fact. There are national Norwegian costumes. Mm -hmm. Yes, very beautiful girls. <laughs> I also tried, tried to confuse you with such beautiful <laughs> girls because Ukrainian girls are also beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> that next one. Uh, Not modest, apparently. <laughs> Who where was where is this? In, 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 I don't know, in, in, in Kazakhstan or something, or where is that? I don't know. Uh -huh, yes, uh, very near. It is Georgian. Ah, Georgia. And they, they are like Tartars or something, or what? Mm, no. Where are they from? Yeah. Not really. Tatars are uh, a Turk, Turk um, people, and uh, they are not quite uh, related to the Georgians, to the Caucasians. Но все равно это же восточные. Yeah, so those are Eastern. Eastern, Eastern but uh, yeah, it depends, of course. Mm -hmm. The next criteria. Ukraine for those who are hungry in the evening. Uh, please match the Ukrainian national dish. <laughs> the first one, this, this, or this. Ah, the first one. The, the, the first one. Do you know this? Is it Bosch? Yeah. Good for you. Oh, I even didn't hope that you know this name, Borsch. It's very pleasant for us. Yes, Julia. It is Borsch. Uh, with smetana, here, mm -hmm. salo, salo, it is a uh, lark, and cebula, onion. Ah, cebula. Cebula, mm -hmm. yes. Here is pizza, everybody knows, yes, Italian national dish. And this, Diego, please say us what this is. Paella. Paella. <laughs> By the way, I should say that uh, Jorge loved borscht so much that he's gonna cook it by himself in, in uh, Mexico, mm -hmm. though he never cooks. I, 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 I knew borscht already because in, in, in Romania they also eat uh, borscht. And, mm -hmm. and they also put, uh, how do you call it, smetana? Smetana, yes. Smetana. 
in Romanian they call it smantana. Mm -hmm. it, it, ah, very very similar. Yes, very similar. It, it, it's like not cream. It's more like a Greek a yogurt. Sour cream. Yes. And uh, um, actually, you can find borscht uh, in uh, Poland, in uh, Hungary, in uh, Slovakia, <coughs> in Russia. And uh, th this is a very, very widespread dish. And what is really nice about borscht is that every um, cook prepares it in some special way because it has so many ingredients you make small change there to borscht and borscht uh, has a different uh, different taste for example uh, my granny cooks borscht with garlic my mother do not, uh, doesn't do it <laughs> so how do you say garlic in ukrainian kasnik kasnik Chasnik. 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 Uh -huh, like Che Guevara. Chasnik. Chasnik. Mm -hmm. Yes. And onion, you say cibula? Cibula. So see, it's easier for Spanish in this case. Yeah? With smetana, it was easier for uh, the Romanian. And yeah. with, with cibula, it's easier for the Spanish-speaking people. Because exactly. So, cebolla, cebolla, mm. very similar. If, if, if I knew Polish, probably it would be much easier. Oh yes, we can understand Polish. So yes. Yeah, I never learned it, but when I went to Poland, I could uh, communicate with the Polish. Uh, we spoke Ukrainian. They spoke Polish. And once we even picked up a Polish guy on blah blah car, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, it's easier. So after Ukrainian, it's easier to learn Polish as well. You just mm -hmm. add more ship uh, ship there. It gets easy, easy breezy. Mm -hmm. Yes, the next last one. Please uh, find out the Ukrainian sportsman. And my this one or this one. Klitschko. Klitschko, Vladimir Klitschko, yes. We oh, have to oh, Vladimir, this is not Vitali, yes. What? This is Volodymyr, it's not Vitali. Yes, it is Volodymyr Klitschko. His his brother. Vitaly is not only a very nice boxer, but also a mayor of the uh, uh, Kiev city. Mm -hmm. He's a politician. Wow. Yeah. But so, so he's an oligarch. Mm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All Ukrainian <laughs> politicians. Well, actually, I should say that uh, uh, apparently the boxers are not the best mayors, but his team is quite good. Uh -huh. have much better role now in Kyiv. I think it's about 60% of them uh, recovered. The city gets more and more beautiful. So uh, it's more and more attractive. And what for has children. happened recently in, in Ukraine? Because I, I have some Facebook uh, friends who <laughs> share some news. But uh, I'm, I'm worried because mm -hmm. I think some of those may be fake news. You know that some, now this the, they say that some uh, people in Russia they are distributing fake news on, on on Facebook, and I don't really know if they are fake or they are true. But they 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 <coughs> talked about some kind of um, conflict between Yatsenyuk. And Poroshenko. Is there a conflict now between them? Because they say that they put someone in jail or something, and uh, it was a friend of Yatsenyuk, so and they have a conflict now. But I don't know if this this is true or. 
How is Ukrainian politics now? Like Santa Barbara. <laughs> So if you want to uh, follow the Ukrainian politics, uh, you're probably you probably should like soap opera. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes, because I think Yatsenyuk is, is from Chernivtsi, isn't he? Yes. I think he's from there, and he was there in the Maidan, in the initial uh, demonstration. These moments, he was there. But now I think Poroshenko is having a conflict with the people from Maidan. Well, actually, Yatsenyuk uh, was... Yatsenyuk joined at about the same time as Poroshenko, because yes. initially on Maidan there were no politics at all. Common people were initials of uh, Maidan. Yeah. And common people are not now in the Ukrainian yeah. politics. There was a very famous one in Maidan from uh, from Lviv. His name was Parasyuk. Yes, but he became politician after Vol Maidan. Volodymyr, Volodymyr Parasyuk, right? Yes, right. Yes, Volodymyr Parasyuk. But now. Yeah, cool. Is a member of uh, Ukrainian politician team, and mm -hmm. that means that uh, all aims of Maidan are spoiled. He spoke so well there on Maidan. He did it so so well that I really thought he he was a C, C, uh, CIA agent. Or... <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Because he did it so well, he did it so professional, you know, like a professional actor wouldn't do it as well. He was really good. I wanted to invite him to Coruña. Really? Parasyuk, yes. Why? He, he, because I wanted him to participate in some summer courses or something, but he, he was already very famous and he was already in the army. He, he, he was like a poster boy for the Ukrainian army mm -hmm. and uh, he would not come to, you know, to the other extreme of Europe. He, mm -hmm. he was busy there. <laughs> yeah. Ah, by the way, I have another question for you because this is also about culture, right? Okay. So, so the, my question is about... Um, there are some videos on YouTube. Probably, I don't know if you have seen them or not. It's about an American. He's called his, uh, his name is Texas. And he makes some videos, propaganda videos, like uh, from uh, Donetsk and Luhansk, that saying that he's fighting with the, with the local armies there have you have you seen those videos oh no. he's he's very famous he has lots of views you know he's in he's american from texas and he he i mean if parasyuk was good i think this one is also good you know like parasyuk was cia and this must be fsb <laughs> 